this week, we have a huge show for you. And who's looking pretty in makeup? Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, we have the Ian Moss Band, which are absolutely fantastic. He has the bass player and the uh, harmonica player from Cold Chisel and the drummer from Dragon. So a lot of memories there, and they are hot. We'll be seeing them later, as well as Far From Over. They were down the SP last Sunday, where they rocked the place. And today we've got a full show for you. Also, we're going to see who else was there jamming. The faces that were down there, Lloyd Spiegel and this little lady, Miss Monique Brumby. Sweet anyway, Monique Brumby. Now, on to the SP. Last Sunday, there was heaps of people having a ball. last Sunday and our host was none other than Mr. Lloyd Spiegel with some jammers.
right? And he gives me one minute. I can't believe it. Follow her. come back from the break, of course, the Ian Moss Band and Far From Over with a full song yesterday from the ESPY. So be quick and be real, because we'll be back soon. We're going to catch up with uh, Ian Moss and his new band very shortly at the Clifton Hill Hotel. But first, last week down the ESPY, Far From Over was shaking hell out of the place. <laughs> Oh, 
from Far From Over and look out for their new CD expected out within the next six weeks. Absolutely fantastic Aussie talent. Now, on to a legend. What a legend he is in the whole band is. This is Ian Moss and the boys.
our show this week. We will be back next week, of course. Bigger and better, bigger than Ben Hur, I tell you, because Aussie music is where it's at. Anyway, we are down the SP tomorrow from 5 o'clock with Kenny Shepherd and a host of Jammers. So we'll see you there. Be real and be Aussie because we are the. this week once again a huge show but first of all let me apologize for last week yes for the first time we didn't have a fresh show ready the equipment had a malfunction and we had to get it fixed the show you saw was made oh nearly 18 months ago but we're back again and this week we have had so much happening down at the SP with what we've been doing that's what we're highlighting it but to kick it all off with if you've noticed in the credits yes I've got Rainbow Parade happening with makeup, but if we're going to play with makeup, we're going to grab hold of our phallic symbol and do this, like that, Aussie all the way. Now that's what I call makeup. Now on to the show. We are highlighting the last two weeks down at the SP. We've had heaps happening down there, heaps of great talent. Kicking it all off with, on the 23rd of February, Kenny Shepherd was our host. We also had Nana's New Hit Sunday with Mr. Phil Perra, who incidentally is Australian. He's not a Kiwi anymore. I nationalised him. Anyway, we were down there with him. There was also the grind and check out the Terminator. <laughs>
say marriage is the oldest institution in the world, right? And marriage is something you need to be committed to, right? Now, if you need to be committed to an institution, that sounds like an asylum to me, right? Sunday at the SP, and as well as that, there was of course a little bit of Phil Perry! Uh, 
Once described as a rock luminary, uh, this is a welcome, welcome to Asylum TV. Ian Miles, very luminary now. <laughs> very luminary. Small welcome to Asylum TV, and thanks for uh, you know giving some time for us. You were you down in Melbourne for a few shows. Uh, yeah, a few shows. Just uh, the old beer festival. Last couple of nights, but uh, tonight at the corner is the main one. Yeah. Yeah, and you, what you you're doing uh, quite a bit of work around uh, up and down the coast, or what? How does it how does it configure that you could, you're able to actually sort of get the gigs and work? I mean, are the gigs come thick and fast or what? No, it's it's uh, not exactly. It, it's it's not uh, not quite the old days when uh, mm. when uh, you know you could have Midnight Oils, Cold Chisels, Angels, and Mondo Rocks all all virtually playing in the one suburb. Yes, in, yeah, in, in different hotels, and, and there'd be you get queues of fifteen hundred people four wide, sort of, you know, stretching around the block trying to get in. Well, luckily um, though, you, I mean, you know, being a great guitar player you are, and um, and Australia seems to think so. You're able to carve a niche market out for yourself and and be able to work around town. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, like I said, it, it's a lot limited. I'm I'm uh, quite happy sticking to the size rooms I'm sticking to, uh, and uh, I've. In the past couple of years, I've, yeah, I, like I say, I'm probably am working out that more niche market. I've, I've steered away, perhaps, from the, the straight, straight ahead pop, almost verging on cabaret <laughs> uh, <laughs> days of, of, of Tucker's Daughter yeah. uh, in the uh, late '89. Um, and the, the band we've got at the, at the moment is, is quite stripped down, which is the uh, more a meat and potatoes thing, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. I guess it's it's it's, it's going to be it's blues oriented naturally, just by the fact that it's a three piece band: guitar, bass, and drums. The traditional, which That's is right. which is which is my background. The kind of that was the kind of music I was listening to when uh, when I first started picked up a guitar. It's, it's great to strip it back, though, isn't it? You know, it is. Just yeah. Get back yeah. to to the nitty gritty of, of why you were there in the first place. Yeah, 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 yes, it is. I, I went through that phase of thought, oh, you know, I'll get horn sections and back, look, back and singers. You and look good in a dinner suit, though. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell? Can you let the folks know who's in your band? And uh, about two years, this, this uh, configuration has been around. That's correct. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, Phil Small uh, on bass. From, Great bass player. Yeah. From Cold Chisel. Um, Kerry Jacobson on drums. And yeah. From uh, lovely man. One of the uh, surviving members of Dragon. Yes. Ooh. Um, uh, uh, David Blight on harmonica, who's yep. kind of always you know, a guy from Adelaide. Everyone knows David Blight. That's yeah. right. He's uh, he's got quite a reputation, and yeah. uh, he did a lot of stuff on the early Chisel stuff. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, so uh, down the track a piece, do you imagine we're going to get some recording from Ian? Um, if you, if you start holding a gun to my head now, maybe <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not really good unless there's pressure there. Um, but yes, yeah. Well, that's we're uh, between between the four of us. Uh, we're hit on a solid swag of ideas yeah but I've been saying that for a while and I guess it doesn't mean much till uh, till we see some uh, some product but uh, I'll get there well well I tell you I, I have uh, seen a little bit of the band not as much as I'd like to see but you certainly have a freight train uh, there in the rhythm section and yeah uh, you're playing like a master as always it's great to have you on the show and uh, we hope to see more of you down in Melbourne thanks very much for uh, your time today thanks Peter no! That you're lonely You cry them all For not Well, you can Cry me a river Cry me a river I cried a river Over you I'm sorry for being so, so untrue. Well, you can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river. Nearly drew me out of my head While you never shed a tear Remember, I remember all that you said 
told me love was just that beer. Told me you were through with me and I. You said that you love me. Well, just to prove. down here at the Corner Hotel and um, with a mate of mine, this is Dave Blight, one of uh, Australia's foremost harmonica players. Welcome to the show, Dave. How you going there, Peter? Hey, I'm great. It's good to, good to see you down in Melbourne. It's good to be here. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you, you reign from Adelaide, do you? Yeah, I live in Adelaide. Yeah. You live in Adelaide? Mm, the boys drag me out every now and then just to do a few shows. And, that's, and great it is, too. It is. Too. And uh, how long have you been doing this with, uh, with Ian? Uh, it's been about, ooh, a little over 18 months now. 18 months. I, might, I should have said to the folks that, uh, that Dave's working with uh, Ian Moss and the band. And uh, what, uh, you, you're not in Melbourne very long, are you? Uh, no, we've got this show, and then we're uh, then basically we're off home uh, for ooh, about a week, and then back out on the road again. Look, a lot of people probably don't know your history, Dave, but uh, I know a little bit about it. You've played on some pretty big re records in your time, haven't you? Uh, mainly the chisel stuff, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then sort of the yeah the, the, the guys solo 
uh, projects. I mainly Don really uh, after that. Uh, worked with Jim for a little while there. Uh, and now, yeah, just working with Ian. Uh, it's, uh, it's great. So is there much work out there for an itinerant um, harp player these days? Or? Um, with these boys, um, yeah, it seems like it's, it's been an ongoing thing. I've got my own band in, in Adelaide. Uh, we just do a bit of work here and there. And, uh, but it's, it's really nice to get out on the road with, uh, with the Chisel Boys. Yeah, absolutely. It goes and, a long way back, yeah. And you've got, yeah, I mean, with the, with the rhythm section there, you've got a freight train there. Like, that's something else, isn't it? Yeah, yeah <laughs> it yeah. is great, actually. Because, uh, yeah, well, I've known Phil for a long, long time. Uh, went to school with Phil and right. a few, oh, is that right? few, few personal projects there with, with Phil. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good. Well, listen, it's great to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. And we're certainly looking forward to the, uh, the performance uh, tonight with the Ian Moss Band. It's going to be good. All right, thanks a lot, Dave. No worries. Yo. <laughs> We're backstage. Where, where are we backstage? We're backstage at the Corner Hotel. Mate of mine, Phil Small, welcome to Asylum TV. Thanks, Peter. Hey, it's good to have you down here. Um, good you be been, yeah, it is. Uh, it's been a while since uh, yeah, we've had yeah, you in town here. Yeah? yeah. How long have you been uh, working with Ian? Uh, off and on, about three years now. About three years? Yeah. And uh, it's great to see you guys down here. Uh, you guys are playing like demons. You, you and a carrier are a freight train, huh? Uh, well, we'll just, uh, yeah, but keep trying at it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back the boy. You're back the boy. And uh, when, was the, when was the last time you were in Melbourne? Uh, um, recently? Uh, How recently were you? Oh, I think it was about uh, three, three months back. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you, do you, are you uh, working with any other shows, um, you, other, other people in Sydney? or where? No, no, solely with Ian at the moment. No, sorry? Just with Ian. Just with Ian? Yeah. And where you were off to after today? Uh, off to Adelaide tomorrow. Adelaide? Just the one show there. One show in Adelaide, yeah. then where? Uh, then back to Sydney for back some Sydney. rehearsals. Yeah? It's a, it's a great band, you must be enjoying it immensely. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great fun. It's, it uh, is. It's down, always a pleasure. Down to the Bare, the bare Basics three-piece, really. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, yeah, a bit of colorization with the, the harmonic. <laughs> to Asylum TV. I'm sitting here with a good friend of mine, uh, one of Australia's greatest drummers, Kerry Jacobson. Welcome to Asylum TV. Thank you very much. It's great to have you down. What are you doing down in Melbourne? Um, working with Ian Moss yeah, currently. Right um, working tonight at the Corner Hotel and uh, having a great time. And I believe you, you've, you've, uh, you've been around the block a couple of times. Oh. Um, you, uh, you, <laughs> you're with Dragon, of course, uh, yes. one of Australia's uh, most wonderful bands. And uh, now you're doing some writing, I believe? Absolutely, yep. Uh, got into songwriting about eight years ago and 
into the computers, doing all that. Um, have to wear glasses now. <laughs> that's ditto. That's, two, that's <laughs> two of us. They didn't have, they didn't have the PCs when we were kids, though, they, did they? They didn't. No, no. a big, big uh, learning curve for us, the old bastards. Uh, uh, absolutely, yeah. But I love it. I'm doing that. I'm doing some writing with Ian now. And, um, yeah, enjoying my life. And from what I can gather, he's playing like a bloody demon. And uh, mm. it's always uh, great to see your face down in Melbourne. And we, should come, we, should, we wish you'd come down uh, a little bit more often. Thank and we hope, we hope to see a lot more of you. Okay. And looking forward to the gig. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> and a time goes on, you can come around. On the six days separating me, I'm a great top and I've been working hard. Twelve hours a day. The money I see won't buy my youth again. I'm going for the heat, baby. The top I got.
Para, and that's only the first half of the song. We couldn't fit it all in the show, but it was a great night. And also joining Phil on stage, apart from myself, was none other than Mr. Ross Nicholson, an Aussie legend, and uh, Bongo Starchy from the Skyhooks got up and uh, did some old Chuck Berry as well. So good to see Bongo back on stage. Anyway, that's it for our show this week. We will be down the SP this Sunday with Jimmy the Human. They don't come much better than that. Support Aussies. Remember, we are the best in the world. Patreon because we are great. And talking about great, we're going to start off with one of the best in all the land, Mr. Jeff Atchison. It's such a big room, man. <laughs> It's the natural thing to do when you look out there is, is think, geez, I better hit this harder, you know, just get the hell out of it. Maybe this will help me get out of a system I can play some pretty sort of things out of it.
come any finer than Mr. Jeff Atchison, I can tell you that. Anyway, down at the SB every Sunday, we are having our jam, and there's always lots of people enjoying themselves. the SP last Sunday and uh, we've also got a little bit of footage coming up later on in the show to show you some of the jamming and stuff that was on stage but now we're gonna go to a bit of an interview I did <laughs> And how about our dancing girl at the end there? It's amazing what people will do for our cameras down there. Anything to get on TV. Everyone loves 31. Talking about love. Talking about Adelaide. Talking about an absolutely living God. This guy's name is Mick Peeling. He comes from a band called Stars, who uh, were good enough to play the music of Andy Durant. I've got one more song to play for you right now. This <laughs> And this is an Adam Andy Duran song, great, great song with Marty Rock and Marty Roll. Thanks a lot for having us.
Once it's got you, won't let go. Uh, and keep it Aussie all the way because we do have the best in the world. That's it for this week. We will be back next week, 6 p.m., right here on Channel 31 every Wednesday. And we'll be down the SP next Sunday from 7 p.m. The whole change of times, they're all going wild. But we will be on from 7 p.m. till close at the SP every Sunday. Billy Kavanagh, low right, it's all happening. Keep it real, keep it Aussie. And just support our talent because it is the best. for you, jam-packed with Aussie talent. Yes, we are going to be seeing a little bit of a living legend, Mr. Dutch Childers, on stage with none other than Phil Parra. The guys from Phantom Bowler were down at the SP last week with Kenny Shepherd and a plethora of jammers, I tell you. Also, we're going to catch up with Rob Longstaff. You saw him there. He's a little bit hungry. We might do something about that a little bit later. Also, we're uh, down at the Melbourne Bowling Club and to kick it all off with one of the greatest guitarists in all the land, Mr. Phil Emmanuel.
this is Phil Emanuel and you're watching Rust Ellis Melbourne. enjoying the live shows that are going on there. The message is clear. We do have the best talent. Get out and get amongst it. And talking about fresh talent, here he is. He's new to town. And I tell you what, what an addition to our music industry. Mr. Rob Longstar. Well, here I am in Russ's bar with Mr. Rob Longstar, who... <laughs> For the first part of our show, when we come back, we are going back down the SB last Sunday. Where are the guys from Phantom Bowl are there? Kenny Shepard from Gator and heaps of others, and also Melbourne Bowling Club, where Dutch Tilda's got on stage with Phil Parra and made some magic. Go have a wee real quick. We'll see you soon. Drummer's Paradise and Guitar Paradise, Melbourne's premier music centre, with over 5,000 square feet of new and used guitars, drum kits and home recording gear. From guitar picks and strings to amps that go to 11, from hand drums to full-size kits in Australia's largest... The SB Hotel there in St Kilda with our jam, and we invite musos to come down and join in, and that's exactly what happens every week. guitarist look out for that now last friday we were at the melbourne bowling club where a little bit of history happened and watch out for the surprise ending
quite a bruise as if a whole line. I had to show it anyway. Well, that's the luck of the big city. The end was as good as the whole song, believe me. And talking about the end, it is the end of our show. We'll be back next week, 6 o'clock, as per usual, with 100% Australian talent. Look out for it. We'll be down in SB next Sunday with Bill Smith. Catch us all later. Support Aussies because we are the best in the world.